so in the last video today I would like to show you how you can uh, make use of automation to add a contact attribute so let's take a look of the contact page first and as you can see here you will see the broadcast and SMS they are all allowed here and today I'm going to use it as an example of how can a user let's say unsubscribe from the broadcast so you will go to the automation tab here first of all add a keyword for example if you would like to allow your customer to unsubscribe from your broadcast message you can make a unsubscribe keyword here okay so this is what we will use as a keyword so when they type this with uh, unsubscribe then they will have this action and here contact attribute click in add action so let's put the same material name and the attribute here will be certain thing that you have in the attribute so for example allow broadcast and if they would like to unsubscribe then we will choose false then we will save here as an action so after this keyword of unsubscribe we will select this action and we'll save this here and it will be done what will happen here let's go to teaming box and again we use the same test form as our num uh, test number so let's assign it back to the bot first so if it's by the bot then all the automation will happen here and with this we will again use the unsubscribe keyword send it to the number it will show up here it seems that nothing happened however when you go back to the contact page remember this number Wati test form starting from 852 go back to contact so this Wati phone number starting from 852 will be unsubscribed from the broadcast automatically and here is how you can easily change the attribute by setting up automation here with a certain keyword action from the client of course there are more use case but this is just an example for you to understand how this works thank you